Hello and welcome to this new video in which I will try and show you how to uh, make your non-Wi-Fi 3D printer uh, well usable via Wi-Fi uh, so you can monitor it remotely, uh, upload your G-code files remotely or even slice it remotely uh, and uh, well control your printer from your computer over Wi-Fi and we are going to use a program called Octoprint uh, for that and uh, we are going to put that on a Raspberry Pi 3B and I ha myself have the Ender 3 uh, 3D printer and I well created uh, I downloaded this uh, well Raspberry Pi uh, case and printed it so it's I can well use it with my Ender 3 printer and it won't be lying around because it will uh, slide into the extruded aluminum uh, channels. All right, so what we are going to need is the Octopi uh, image, and well, you can download it from uh, octoprint.org/download. I already did that and extracted it. And we are going to use a program called Etcher to flash it to the SD card. So we're going to open Etcher, uh, plug in our SD card, and Etcher should uh, well recognize our SD card. So no, I do not want the newest version. Doesn't matter. Uh, well, this is my SD card. I want to select the image, which is Octopi. I open it and flash, yes, and uh, well, this will take a minute, uh, and if it's done, uh, I'll be right back. All right, now that uh, the SD card of the Raspberry Pi is flashed, we need to edit a file on the SD card, so we open the SD card. And we go to the Octopi WPA supplicant.txt. So I am putting my credentials in over here. And well, I will put in my pre shared key over here. And we need to, uh, well, fill in our country code. And I am going to need to look, look up mine because I live in the Netherlands and that one's not listed. Uh, let's see, the Netherlands, uh, well, it's just NL, so country equals NL for me. So I'm going to save that and put the SD card into my Raspberry Pi and I'll be right back. If you have booted up your Raspberry Pi, you can uh, well go into your router and get the IP address of your Octopi. Uh, I put mine in in here and I was a little bit too early I guess uh, because Octoprint is not <laughs> yet running uh, so I will have a minute uh, to talk about something um, the IP address you can get from your router but uh, well not everyone uh, can get into his router or the IP address of the devices is not listed so uh, what I uh, recommend using then is uh, use a phone connected to the same network as you are going to connect your Raspberry Pi with Octopi and get an app called Fing. And with that app, you can uh, well see all the devices that are connected to your network. They are, will show up in a list and you can get the IP address uh, from there. So I hope this that everything started up. It is loading. And I'm getting another an RF heavy gun. So and I get another web page. It is a little slow, but it just started up, so I guess that's normal. And don't forget we are connecting over Wi-Fi, so that can give a little bit slower uh, experience than wired. I always recommend wired, but uh, wired Ethernet, but well, in some cases it may not be possible. So Wi-Fi is an excellent solution for that, but it can be a little bit slower. All right, now that uh, we have 
connected to the Octo Pi, uh, we get the setup wizard. So we're going to walk through that. So we need to set up access control, which I cannot recommend enough, especially if you're using uh, your Octopi, uh, well, to monitor your 3D printer remotely. Uh, well, simply because it needs uh, you to put in a username and password so not just everyone can get into your printer. So I am going to set up a username and password. Well, let's at last pass generate a password for this and I'll say keep access control enabled all right I'll say next uh, well and none of using disable uh, well yeah I don't need that all right uh, online connectivity check uh, which is always handy so I will enable that and well the plugin blacklist processing and is always a good choice to enable that because well simply if a plugin is on the blacklist it is not there for nothing it may be malicious or something so uh, well I go I am going to generic printer well pre that's fine uh, I have a rec Rectangular bed, it's a heated bed. Uh, well, I'm going to look up the bed size and their three bed size 235 by 235, uh, 235 by 235, and print, print. Print height, how tall, uh, well, 250, 220, 220, 250. All right. Uh, well, I guess I forgot something. Access, well, it's fine. Hold an extra, yeah, fine. Uh, well, read this and then finish. And well, now we have all the things over here, uh, but we don't see a thing because we first need to connect it to our printer. So let me do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I have connected uh, up everything and we need to make a connection to our printer. And well, I'm just going to leave everything on auto, save the connection settings and auto connect on server startups and we are going to connect it says operational well everything is in here and well the temperatures of over here we can well control everything and well set everything we want we can even view some g-code uh, well, if we are do want to uh, print something, we can uh, well upload it over here to the thing. And well, let's see, do I have some G code somewhere? It says working on it. Well, I'd like to view it right now. Uh, yeah, I have a G code over here. So let's upload it. You can see over here how much space we have left on our SD card. I put in a 64 gig one because I had one lying around, but well, just an 8 gig one will be pretty much fine. It also makes, uh, well, nice graphs over here. So if we want to set a target temperature of, let's say, uh, well, let's just use the heated bed and let's say we want it for 20 degrees. Uh, well, let's apply it. It says target. And now it's heating up. So we can see the target is set and we can see that the bed temperature is actually rising. So that's really nice. And well, I'm going to set it to off again. 
So now we have a, well, G code over here ready. And we can say load and print. And well, it's just printing time left eight hours. I am going to pause it right now because I don't actually do not want to print it. Um, but uh, well, it was, it is actually heating up everything. Um, but uh, well, this allows you to, uh, well, if you have your 3D printer well stashed away somewhere because well, it makes a lot of noise. Um, so then you can, well, just from your computer, upload everything uh, and make sure everything is okay. Uh, well, I am going to show you how to hook up a webcam and what you can do with that in a later video. Um, but, well, this was the basic setup. You can use it like as is and uh, please look forward to my next videos. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Uh, well, and I hope to see you next time.